<laughs> hey, what is up? It is Achilles, and today we are talking about Naruto the Baruto Shinobi Strikers. That is a mouthful, and that's what they said. Because, you know, we're, we're equalists around here. But anyway, let's get started with the story. You are a ninja that come to the Leaf Village to join, unless you're from the Leaf Village, to join a VR simulation tournament and, a, and do VR missions. The missions are the story, I guess, part of the game. But it's just a real, um, the real way that they want to introduce new teachers. And I guess get you practice uh, to learning moves and doing different moves and combinations to get you ready for multiplayer. These missions are easy all the way until you get all the teachers and then you graduate to a chunin. After that, those missions get hard and even me and my brother couldn't beat them alone. You know, A or, rank, or B rank missions. We just didn't have enough damage and time. And like I said, most of those missions uh, pre chunin I soloed myself. I went back and did it with my brother just to help him catch up. But most of them I did solo, not not hard at all. And uh, with that being said, this game it, and this gameplay is centered around four man teams. If you don't have a, at least two other people communicating with you and you're not letting that teamwork make that dream work, then you're just gonna have a bad time. Not uh, just. Uh, like the missions aspect the vr mission the actual tournament the multiplayer of the game communication is very important especially if you're playing base battle which is a mode where you hold the point um you know it's kind of like domination and call of duty there's three points and you need to hold them and since there's only four people you know, you have to coordinate with your team who's attacking, who's holding a point, who's flanking to their base. It's very important. And then the other game modes as well, capture the flag, which is called flag battle and barrier battle where you go and you have to, one team has to undo seals and then summon a uh, Gamabuta and take him down. And I think the seals only, the undo of the seals only lasts for a certain amount of time. So you have to keep unsealing them while the other team has to stop you from sealing, I mean unsealing, and stop you from um, fighting Gamabuta. Now let's go ahead and switch over and strictly just talk about gameplay. The game feels solid for, for a 3D anime fighting game. It has your light attacks, it has your heavy melees, and subject to change, and those are subject to change on weapon. Like if you're playing ranged, then your heavy attacks are more uh, ranged attacks. But you also have throwing weapons as well, which also are cu customizable. Ultimate ninja to two ninja suits, a substitution. And everything, like I said, was customizable and you can do really sick combos or setups just depending on how you set your character up. You can also make um, badass combo coordinated attacks with a friend. So if you and your friend or you and your group team up and have like an ultimate pull and then your buddy has like a, a kick away and then somebody else has a pull, you, you know, so so much other things you can do maybe a, a pull to a stun to you know a really long charge move these are really sick things that you can do and actually makes the game fun once you play around with all the different combinations for your favorite classes now and all these moves are also learned from teachers and those teachers also have certain roles or classes, which you want to call them. There are four of those classes, uh, healer, range, attack, and defense. Each do something that the other class doesn't uh, very well. You know, the defense has more health, more uh, defensive blocking moves. You're able to sit on points a lot longer. Healers are you know healers they keep your team alive and one of the most essential roles that they have and I, I would say 
you definitely need a healer you don't need any other class but you need at least one healer then there's range which is my favorite class my main class you're able to do so much damage from far away and you're able to move around since you since you have that that spatial gap you're able to do that damage from far away jump to another point and do far damage from there helping out and being more of like a roamer assist type this is kind of how i play mine and then there's the attacker which is the melee guy the guy who does most damage who gets in there and just gets in their faces and you just hate them because you can't get them off of you if they're really good oh like i said most of the moves come from teachers but there are certain moves that you can only get from scrolls that you get from leveling up in the game and you level up just by playing the mission winning doing good the more points you get the more you level up you prestige once you hit 100 and it goes on forever and ever also um there's weapons in the shop that you can buy each weapon each move throwing weapon they all go to one skill set so if you're attacked you can't get somebody else's range move even though that range move is maybe like a close-up move or even if an attack move is a range throwing disappearing uh rising gun which definitely belongs in range um i'm sorry i'm feeling some type of way about that but anyway um so what's the deal should you buy this game well that all depends on you are you do you have three friends who are gonna play with you yeah definitely buy this you want a, a full team of course four but if you have at least three then you're definitely gonna have a good time playing this game if you are gonna pick up this game and you plan on playing it solo you plan on being in a different party talking about life talking about ea's business practice or nintendo's online service or movies or whatever and you're, you're not really gonna contribute to the team i would say don't pick this up this game is really not for you to just um you know not communicate with your team so uh i guess that's it for my review get the game if you're gonna you know get on their solo talk to you know message people say hey join my party let's the squad up let's take this serious um or if you have friends don't get the game if you if you're not if you plan on just beating up people i mean you, you'll have fun with it but ultimately you get stuck with healer because nobody else on the team will heal you're the random um and you're, you're not gonna have a good time and nobody's on uh party uh, everybody's in party chat nobody's on mic so it's hard to find new people and i guess i'll leave this to the pre-recorded part okay so now it's time for this pre-recorded part so if you like the video go ahead and hit the thumbs up if you don't like the video hit the down uh, dislike button but also comment and tell me why you didn't like the video and um sub if you're new to the channel i'm gonna be dropping content you know as much as as much as i can um and we're out